So while I've never owned any PlayStation console, I really am interested in the PlayStation 4. If I saw a PlayStation 4 going for really cheap, I probably would pick it up because I just don't see a reason to pick it up. The main thing that's been holding me back from getting a PS4 is just the fact that you have to pay online. And yes, you do have to do that on the Xbox One, but the reason why I don't want to do it on the PS4 is because I want to just have one device I can pay for. Because I, yes, I would like to not pay for anything altogether, but I don't want to add another $60 on top of 60 So that's mainly the reason why I just stick to Nintendo and Xbox. However, the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One may be getting a huge price cut coming this year. However, will the PS4 and Xbox One get a price cut this year? I wanted to just spend a video talking about this because I think it's actually kind of an interesting topic. So let's start off with the Xbox One. This is pretty expected, but I think that the Xbox One S is going to become cheaper and cheaper and cheaper. And I would expect probably by next year it'll go down to $200. The main reason is because of the Xbox One X. It's a fact, when a new piece of hardware comes out, the old one gets replaced. And because of it getting replaced, it'll probably get a price cut. So I think once the Xbox One launches, we're gonna see more Xbox One S's becoming cheaper. And while I might pick up an Xbox One S when it's on sale, I really just think I'm gonna aim for an Xbox One X. Moving over to the PS4 side though, it does get more complicated. Sony doesn't have any new hardware launching this year. But however, when you look at things from a different point of view, there's a lot more options to consider. When the Xbox One X launches, Sony might drop the price of the PS4 Pro and the PS4, just to give more people a reason to buy the PS4 over the Xbox One X. Not to mention, but on November 15th of this year, the PS4 original will be 5 years old. So that means if there's any more PS4 originals out there, they're gonna see a huge price cut. But I think that the PS4 Slim will probably get the biggest price cut. Obviously, newer hardware has been out for over a year at this point, and also the fact that the Xbox One S might be getting a price cut. So to compete with those, they might drop the price of the PS4 Slim. Speaking of newer hardware and more competition, we can't forget about the Nintendo Switch. If sales keep going as they are for the Nintendo Switch or even rise, and if Nintendo irons out the delays, this may be another factor for Microsoft and Sony to drop the prices of their console. I don't think we'll be seeing the Nintendo Switch get a price cut, because again, it just came out like, what, six months ago? Five, not, not even six months ago. So this might actually be good news for me, because I might actually be picking up my first Sony console ever. But again, that's only if the PS4 becomes really cheap. And if I do that, I know for a fact I'm not going to be paying online. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do share this video on social media. It really does help me. If you have any news articles that you want me to talk about, please private message me on YouTube with the link to the article. And if you ask, you might get a shout out for it. Please leave your thoughts on this in the comment section below. And see you.